uh, Dr. Anna Maria Temple and Vanessa joining me again. We're all practicing social distancing as we should be in the workplace. But doctor, one big misconception out there is that taking elderberry serum or syrup boosts the immunity to fight the coronavirus. A lot of people believe in that year round just to ward off colds and things like that. Is this true? So the misconception that is out there is that taking elderberry syrup daily or if you're infected with coronavirus can put you at risk for severe disease uh, and in the specific case called cytokine storm. And this has not been shown anywhere in the, in the literature. What has been shown is that when you have influenza, when on you take elderberry syrup, it increases your IL-6 and cytokine levels, which can be pro-inflammatory, so good, so inflammation or against inflammation. And then so they looked at it, raised your IL-6 and cytokines, and then they looked at coronavirus. And coronavirus, when you're going into a severe issue, it's called a cytokine storm, which is started by IL-6, if you will, to make it like real simple. And so people are drawing a conclusion that if you raise IL-6 from elderberry syrup in influenza, that you're going to be put into a cytokine storm for COVID-19, which has not been shown, not proven. Fun fact, junk food and soda increases your IL-6. Fitness, so working out, increases your IL-6. So based on that conclusion, we should say we shouldn't do any of those things because it raises your risk factor. So at this point, the takeaway is this. There's no medical evidence to show that elderberry syrup puts you at risk for cytokine storm. But if you are nervous and worried, then use other berries. Use blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. If you've always taken elderberry syrup and it fits your body and it helps you stay well, you can continue doing so. However, be mindful that we are looking at a wild berry as being the problem and we're ignoring the fact that junk food, soda, fast food are actually a, hum a huge problem and a bigger problem that is depressing our immune system.